Look, okay. So, pillowcase, pillowcase, pillowcases. The only thing I really actually had to actively dry was the um, memory foam pillow, like internal covers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got a towel drying. I mean, it's a nice day. It's like 21 out right now. It's two o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and uh, coffee. Aaron's packing away the pizza boxes from the And here is a mail thing from Gemeente Amsterdam that I got for, well, we got for, how is the city budget for, it's sort of like there's the American budget and everyone's like, oh, half your budget goes, no, half the discretionary spending goes to the military. And that's what I think this is. It's sort of like there's the city stuff and then there's the discretionary spending. Like, what do you want for artwork or beautification or stuff? By the way, um, each of these trees is fucking numbered. I was on Amsterdam. Does it make sense? Okay, not the ones <laughs> in the park. The ones on the outside. So the okay. ones that are placed down in line. Yeah. And the Amsterdam Puntenau website for trees has each of them numbered and what species they are. And you can zoom all the way in like you can with Google Maps and click each tree. That's amazing. I know. And like there's trees around the edge around the edge of the island and like they haven't put any of the new ones in for the registry over there because they probably haven't updated it yet. But they've got all the ones in front here and up the side and around the back. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, the, the budget thing is like Okay, the city of Amsterdam has allocated this much for community improvements. To the city. To the city. This district, Oost, gets a quarter of it. Gosh, I wonder how many districts there are. I thought there were five. Maybe Nord gets less? Nord, Centrum, Vest, Zoud, and Oost. Hmm. And then I thought there was Zout Oost. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go out for a walk. Aaron has to take back some shirts and whatever. Yeah. All right. We're walking backwards. We came from Mauderport. This is the, the back way to Mauderport from the old apartment. Um, <laughs> sport hall. They built a gym over the rest of their classrooms. <laughs> Something you would never see in the States. Oh, I know. No, they, they, they just get the funding, build a whole new football field, and then encase the whole football, you know, yeah. the old football field, or make it the practice field. You have three football turf, artificial turf fields. Yeah, one for JV practice, one for varsity practice and the other one for games oh for jv also oh no the jv have games on the varsity practice field hmm <laughs> you, you, how do you guys maintain these oh we come from a very rich district and yet none of your kids are passing their classes academics aren't the main focus of this school your name is susan b anthony high school she's the name of an educator well, yeah, but, but we focus on sports. <laughs> yeah. Like here, like this, the Montessori school, they have like a soccer field outside, but that's it. It's like an unlined, caged soccer field thing just to, hey, you guys are on break. Go burn off some energy, <laughs> overactive teenagers. <laughs> Although, I don't know what they're putting. Are they extending the police station maybe I don't know I mean they've already got some pretty hefty walls in there all right so we came inside Freddy Fridays um, breakfast is just breakfast you got magic mushroom magic mushroom it's basically poutine yeah but it's fancy poutine yeah this is vegetarian, but they don't have the chimichurri one like they had months ago. So, art. 
Their current one is called a spicy Hosener, but it's vegan and has vegan mayonnaise on it. And I just really try not to do whole ass replacements of stuff. Can I get regular mayonnaise on this? Not vegan mayonnaise? You know, like real? The ec ec the mayonnaise? Just wasn't something I wanted to do, so I just ordered the nacho. Well, now that we've got all our, we got our bellies full of fries and ingredients, <laughs> we're gonna take a counterclockwise lap of uh, Oster Park. Last time I was coming through here, I had the, <laughs> I was riding my bike, so you guys get to see this possibly in a little bit of slow motion or anything interesting that's happening because there are so many people out today. I, I would say it six seven o'clock this park is going to be hitting capacity oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah and it's only 21 22 degrees out it's still it does not warrant not having hot coffee <laughs> i completely understand aaron maybe not wanting hot coffee but i'm not going to turn it down Oh, they do have ice. They do have an ice latte. Mm. <laughs> Lemonade for three fifty. Iced tea. It's okay. He doesn't need anything. No, just iced tea. Or does a lot of good for your uh, fitness band when you walk for about three minutes and then stop for nine minutes, getting coffee. <laughs> yeah, that was that was real good, but. We're now back to walking. Aaron got a iced, you know, on that side this time. Iced vanilla latte. Yeah, and I got a mocha, uh, mocha slach rom. And I was like, man, 90 cents. Man, inflation, she's like, Krrr. I was like, oh my God. Half that drink is fucking whipped cream. <laughs> okay, yeah, thank you. Because yeah. it was in a like normal, small European coffee yeah. cup that you get from a thing. And then there was like that and above, like you could, <clears throat> Okay, so I got a mocha with a puppuccino on top. <laughs> yeah. uh, trees are in the bloom. The flowers are blooming. Keep forgetting there's wild turtles here. That's not a statue. He's literally sunning himself. <laughs> oh, there he is. Yeah. Like if some kid came around and like, you know, like want by, he'd probably dive in. Slowly. <laughs> oh, he'd probably just like tip himself over and be like, plunk. Tennis, family gathering. Oh look, there's already like three barbecues going. <laughs> it's 21 degrees. How can you tell? That's how I could tell. Of course, they'd also be out here at 15 degrees. <laughs> the hell is it? Spinozoruta? Spinoza route. Oh. Here's a QR code. Aaron will scan it, but there you guys can say Freiheit von Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm already seeing like that ever present blue smoke rising out of barbecues and stuff. Can't really smell it because they're all sharting it up, but what happened to that tree? <laughs> that tree needs assistance. <laughs> oh, cool! I've walked a kilometer. That tree gets me dull. I honestly think that like Lucas the Lorax could actually have fun in this park. Yeah. <laughs> I think he lives somewhere in Southern California, because along the coast area, because he talks about coastal climates, and it's always like super sunny and stuff. 
and there's a lot of variety of trees that probably shouldn't naturally exist where he lives. He doesn't quite say where he lives, but I have this generalized idea that he lives in the southern parts of California, maybe the Bay Area. Yeah, now we can, with like barely any wind, it's hard to see where the, you know, that the barbecue smell is coming, but when you can also tell that the barbecue smell is rising straight up, there's no, oh God, there it is. <laughs> 